In this experiment, uh, we will observe and study the nature of non-metallic oxides, which is generally acidic in nature. So for the experiment, you will need test tubes, two test tubes, a test tube stand, you will need the retort stand with the clamp, you will need a spirit lamp as well, powdered sulfur which is provided in your lab kit, a cork with a hole, a delivery tube, a dropper, a measuring spoon and you will need red and blue litmus paper along with some water. To this test tube add about 5 grams of sulfur powder. Then take the cord with the hole and the delivery tube and carefully place it inside. Now you can close the mouth of the test tube with the cord and the other end of the delivery tube will go, uh, go inside the test tube with water. Now light the spirit lamp and allow the sulfur powder to heat. Observe if there are any changes. You will see that the sulfur powder soon is getting heated and the fumes are going to get liberated through this and through the delivery tube they will be passed into the test tube that has water and the gas that has been liberated is of sulfur dioxide as sulfur powder reacts with oxygen in the air and it will then react with the water now you can observe that the sulfur powder has completely melted and you will observe that the test tube with the water certain bubbles can be seen which are of sulfur dioxide gas. The liberated gas from the sulfur powder has now been collected in this test tube with water. So now we will just place, take away the lamp and place your thumb over the test tube with water. Shake it well. Now make your red litmus paper and blue litmus paper ready. Take a dropper, a fresh dry drop dropper. And gently over the blue litmus paper, place about a drop of that solution which you have taken from the water test tube. Similarly, repeat it on over the red litmus paper. And note the color changes. Once you take the droplets of water from the test tube containing water and sulfur dioxide gas and you pour them over red litmus paper and blue litmus paper, you will observe that there is no color change in red litmus paper, but the blue litmus paper turns red. This happens because the sulfur dioxide gas which has liberated with the reaction of sulfur and oxygen in the air, it gets into the test tube with water and changes into sulfurous acid. This sulfurous acid is acidic in nature and that is what turns the blue litmus paper red.